Well, tonight, this is what everyone is seeing throughout Central Ohio. Nasty weather leading to nasty roads. This is a live look at 315 North, and, you know, you can see things are moving along, and there is not much traffic on the uh, road, so that's the good news here. All right, thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Brittany Bailey in for Andrew tonight. We have team coverage tonight from our reporters spread out all over Central Ohio. 10 TV's Kevin Landers is in Delaware County. Kiana Deitches is at the airport, and Bryant Somerville is in Pickering. First, though, we are going to start with Doppler 10 meteorologist Madison Reich, who is tracking the current temperatures and those wind chills because those are two very different things, Madison. At this moment, yes, Brittany, they are very, very different. But I also wanted to take a look at just how temperatures have changed. Of course, we can all feel it, but check out this drop. We went from around 43 degrees at 10 p.m. last night all the way down to zero by 6 a.m. and then kept falling. We didn't actually really bottom out until around 7 a.m. hitting three below. Then we hit seven below by 10 a.m. Then we started to climb back up and we've been hovering around three to two below throughout the afternoon and into this evening. No major changes right now either. We're holding on to those cold temperatures and we still have strong winds out of the southwest. 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts are going to be sticking around and dropping those wind chills through the next couple of hours. Right now it definitely feels Feels very cold down to 26 below for our wind chill in Columbus, 27 below in Circleville and 27 below in Washington Courthouse. These are still very dangerous wind chills and they're sticking around. We're not done with them tonight. They're going to be sticking around into tomorrow and then maybe even into Christmas Day. I've got the latest details on that and we're going to be taking a closer look at what you can expect uh, outside of the cold for the next couple days in your full 10 day forecast in just a few minutes. Madison, thanks so much. Now we want to give you a look at the current snow emergency levels across central Ohio. Most counties, including Franklin County, are at a level two, which means only drive if absolutely necessary. Nine counties, Ross, Pickaway, Licking, Fayette, Union, Morrow, Marion, Hardin, and Crawford are under a level three snow emergency. That means roads are closed and only emergency personnel are allowed on them. Well, tonight, Delaware County is under a level two snow emergency. That means you should only be on the roads, as we said, if absolutely necessary. 10 TV's Kevin Landers has been out there all day. He joins us outside the ODOT Salt Barn with the latest on the weather conditions out there. Kevin? Well, good evening. US 23 coming out of Columbus is passable, but ODOT says it is so cold that they've never seen it before or the salt coming out of the back of these trucks is actually freezing before it hits the street. It's coming out in chunks. Hard to imagine. Now, in the city of Delaware, most of the downtown businesses are closed, but some are trying to stay open. We spoke to an owner who was shoveling his sidewalk, hoping to drum up some business. Uh, it's cold out here today. The uh, windshield definitely is uh, getting into you. You can see your beard is freezing <laughs> up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why are you out here? Well, trying to open up our uh, brew pub here today. So had staff came in before I could call them, tell them not to come in. So we're going to make the best of it here. You uh, can't get any people in if you're not open. So Now, the air temperature here in Delaware is negative 8, but with the wind chill, it's probably negative 20-something. And that's an issue, ODOT says, because the salt that they're using doesn't work when it's below minus 6. Reporting live in Delaware County, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. All right, thank you, Kevin. Let's get a check of the roads by looking at a few of the ODOT cameras around the city tonight. Uh, let's see what we have here. This is a look at the cameras at I-270 and Sawmill, 315 at Henderson, I-70 at State Route 142, and 270 at 33 on the southeast side of Columbus. You're seeing a similar picture in all those uh, situations there. We spoke with ODOT earlier this afternoon, and they tell us crews are working 12 to 16-hour shifts to treat and retreat these roads because of the high probability of refreeze. So if you have somewhere to be for the holiday, ODOT says don't don't drive tonight. Roads by this time tomorrow versus this time today will be like night and day. The longer you can wait for that departure to be out there on those roadways, the better off you will be. ODOT says the goal in these kinds of storms is passable but not perfect. And some people are trying to fly to their destinations, but there have been a lot of canceled flights and angry people. 10 TV's Kiana Deitches is live at John Glenn Columbus International Airport tonight. Kiana, what can you tell us? 
Well, Brittany and Yolanda, angry, impatient, and some of them even losing money. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I spoke to one man who says that his flight to Florida got canceled, and he says that he'll be getting a hotel until Wednesday. And sadly, he's not even the only one. Now, looking at the big board here, um, you can see that there are many cancellations and delayed flights. According to Flight Aware, there are 47 delays here and many, many more cancellations. About 140 flights have been canceled into or out of John Glenn Columbus International just today alone. And we found people finding unique ways to occupy their time while they wait. You can see one man even playing the piano for his family here. I spoke to one couple who says they had to jump through many hoops when their flight from Cleveland was canceled at the last minute. Waited for her to drive from Toledo, where she lives, to where we live in Talmadge, Ohio, and then drove two hours last night to a hotel to stay overnight to catch our flight out of here tonight at 7.50. And that couple says that their daughter jumped in to save the day. There are over 180,000 passengers scheduled to take off from this airport through the holiday period. If you plan to fly tonight or over the weekend, you should arrive an hour and a half early for domestic flights and two hours early for international flights. For now, reporting live from John Glenn, Columbus International, Kiana Deitches, 10 TV News. Kiana, thanks so much. Now we want to get a check of the power outage problems in central Ohio. Right now, there are more than 2,000 customers without power statewide. We spoke to AEP about an hour ago to get an update on what the crews are seeing. The biggest factor we've seen has been the wind. Um, we, we've had a few uh, down lines. Uh, we've had a few uh, branches and tree debris come into the lines causing outages. Uh, but, but the team has made tremendous progress. Now, at the peak of the storm this morning, there were about 20,000 customers in the dark. Now, if your power does go out, make sure to report it online or on the AEP app. Well, we have all of our winter weather information in one place on our website. We're making it easy for you. Just text the word STORM to the number on your screen right there, 614-460-3345, and we'll send a link straight to your phone with all the information you need to know.